Well, hey everybody, this is Jen with Glasses, and I am streaming King's Quest. May not take kindly to unexpected visitors. Last time it seemed like if I looked through the window, it uh, made him wake up, so let's see if that's the case. No, he's just murderizing me now. Why is he just murderizing me? Whoop. <laughs> nice try. Okay, so now it's not even... <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, boy. How did that... Guys, get out of here. I did it differently that he wasn't... Dudes. Like, they just get more and more aggressive. Like, ugh. Alright, so... If he's sleeping, I need to walk in quietly. Okay, how can I get this... Take care not to get too close. All right. Oh, gosh. Nope. Instant murderizing. Boom. I'm dead. Nope. Why is that trunk in there if we're not supposed to use it? Oh, he's going to wake up. Murderized. Boom. Get too close to him. If I can go all the way over here. That doesn't seem to bother him. Can I reach over and grab your gold, sir? <gasps> okay, okay, we're getting out of here. We are we're saving it. And we are getting out of here. Oh my gosh, we really need to walk very quietly. Oh, I'm glad I saved it. Oh, I don't know why the music came up. <laughs> DS6 says the gasps are real. Yeah, <laughs> I was really shocked because I uh, kind of thought, I want a little bit of the music. I really thought that, uh, that I was never going to get, th oh, I waited too long. I was messing around with the music. I just have to get out of there, guys. And I didn't think I could do that. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. How am I going to get out of there, DS? Why does he keep waking up? <sighs> Have your money. Don't just throw me on the ground. Am I supposed to turn to a fly and get out of here? Alright, let's go up here real quick. Hey, guess what? I'm turning into a fly. You can't get me. Uh, yeah, guys. That's awesome. Come on down there, Gwyden. Come on, Gwyden fly. Don't get distracted. Oh, gosh, guys. He's not obeying me. Oh, come on, Gwyden. Go down. You just need to fly down. It's like he's forgotten he's a human being. Get down there. Get down there. All right, I guess I... How long does it take for this thing to wear off? Come on. Oh, good. Your spell is wearing off. All right, get... Oh, I have to use my hands. Get down here, crazy. Okay. You do whatever it's going to do. All right, here we go. Good day to you, young man. What can I do for you? I want to spend some money. Oh, I don't want to ask. Oh, boy. Don't just, like, give him the gold purse. DS6 says it flickered, but it's back. Okay, good. If it's going to just flicker, that's okay. If it's going to... Okay, so can I... I want to use these coins. I have some money. I'd like to purchase something. Certainly. Take a look at the items in the shelf behind me. Oh, great. So what's that? Salt. Buy. Okay, so we have salt. Pouch. Buy. This is going to use all our money, isn't it? Lard. Buy. What else does he have? Fish oil. Buy. Done. Because the majority of them require a wand. No! No! You... Oh, gosh. Guys, no. Come on. Oh, it's right there. So I have to take the salt grain. Oh, nope. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. 
I take the salt grains. This is like, what is this? Oh, well, it's hard to tell what the salt is. Yeah. Oh, that's fishy smell. Okay, there we go. Okay, do I have to take my, I'm going to have to mash it up, don't I? You grind the salt with a the pestle. There's nothing there to grind. Did I pick it up already? I'm hoping yes. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, I have to add more. So, where's the mistletoe? Where are you, mistletoe? You can't really tell the difference in the game between the fish and the mistletoe. They look the same. Okay, here we go. Boy, they really want you to eat up time here, don't they? Good, I ground it up. Now what am I supposed to do? In the mixture. Okay. Do, 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 do. Where's my biscuit? Here it is. Alright. Okay. Kiss the stone. Okay. My kiss is so tender. No, it requires a kiss. How, oh. How am I supposed to kiss the stone? It's in my hand. You gently kiss the stone. Okay, good. I'm like, guys, the lips don't do what you think they do. Okay. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the telepotion at random inclination. My kiss so tender I now give, so that I may have a chance to live, seeking a place of trouble less with my mouth, with my smooth, bleh, with my smooth stone. All right, if I really did that, I would be. Wave a magic wand over the stone. So where's my magic wand? Here we go. If I was really required to recite it, I would have already been turned into. Okay. Yay! Nightshade juice, mixture of the spoon, and the mixture from heat. Yeah, I can do this one right here. Okay, so grind three acorns in the modern pestle. Alright, where's my acorns? I can do so much, guys. I'm like, oh my goodness. This feels like work, though. Like, I'm making dinner. Like, okay. I have to grind the acorns for this recipe. Golly. Take so long. Okay. Grind the acorns. Put one cup of nice. Okay. Oh, I have to put acorn powder in the bowl. So this is going to be all in here. So here's my bowl. Where's the acorn powder? Do I have to take it out of here? Okay. There we go. I need to put that in the bowl. Here we go. This is taking so much time. Okay, I did that. <laughs> yeah, especially the toadstools and like the, the lizard skin sounds delicious, huh? Nightshade juice. Dia says, six, says dinner. Uh, I just stayed on the way, so no thanks for me. Alright, where's the nightshade juice? Oh, well that's that one. Okay, done. Spoon the mixture, stir the mixture with a spoon. Light a charcoal brazier. So I gotta stir the mixture with a spoon. Stir it with a spoon. Uh, then I have to put it in the charcoal brazier. And I have to light it. You wait until the nightshade juice is almost gone. A damp powdery substance remains behind in the bowl. Alright, then I pour it out on the table. Right? Okay. So then what? Good word used for bad practice. Dries in the wizard's table. Is it dry yet? Okay. Where's my leather, leather pouch? Wait, is that my leather pouch or is that my money belt? Oh, this is my leather pouch. Oh, I did some I didn't say the spell. Oh guys. Come on. 
Okay, here we go. Acorn, nightshade, together mixed, concoction of a deep sleep fixed. From places of much lesser light, you bring them along good night. Okay, wave magic wand over powder. Here we go. What happened? I went to grab the wand. Oh, guys, come on. I grab it with my hand. I use the arrow. I wave it over there. You wave the magic wand over the powder. All right. Let me take out my... Here we go. You carefully scoop the powder from the table. With steady hands, you pull the seed bleeding powder into the empty pouch. You now have a magical powder that will put anyone in the vicinity to sleep when poured on the ground in a place where there is both darkness and moisture. Put anyone in the vicinity to sleep when poured on the ground in a place where there's both darkness and moisture. And what? I thought I could put someone to sleep anywhere. Squeeze the cactus juice. Cut the cactus with a knife. Alright, where's my knife? There's my knife. Cut the cactus in half with a knife. Alright, squeeze the cactus juice into a bowl, I'm assuming. Where's my bowl? Okay. That won't hurt. Oh! <laughs> this is very specific. This is like, um, Hell's Kitchen version. You get one thing wrong, you're done. Alright, so squeeze this onto the spoon. Where's my spoon? I'm sure it won't matter that the sleeping juice. Okay. Then I gotta pick up the spoon, right? Oh gosh, guys. Carefully put it in there. Okay. Place, a, place one jar of lard into the bowl. Okay. One jar of lard. The lard and the salt and everything, they all look the same. Oh, good. Whitish lard. There's nothing interesting about this jar of whitish lard. You add the jar. To keep the empty jar for later use. Yes, thank you. Uh, two drops of toad spittle to the bowl. Oh, boy. That's going to be a little more difficult. Where's the toad spittle? Alright, so two drops. This is very intense, guys. One. Oh, it lets me do it like that. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, recite the following. Wait. I did recite. Uh, jar of lard. Oh, nope. Did something wrong. Okay, I need to slow down this again. And you guys don't have to watch me do it again. Although I'm sure it's fun watching me make mistakes. You carefully stir the contents of the bowl. Yes. And I'm going to save it again. <laughs> Recite the following. Here we go. Becoming invisible incantation. Juice of cactus and toad spittle upon myself, but just a little. With flame and moisture both present, I shall become most transparent. So the flame and moisture... Ah, wave the wand over the magic bowl. Okay. Where's my wand? Where is it? Here we go. Okay. And I think it... Um, put the ointment in the empty jar. Boop. Okay, so that's nice. Ah, right, here he is. Hi. I'm hungry. Prepare me a meal. Oh, I think we're screwed on this one, guys. I don't think I have... I'm going to check. I don't think I have anything moldy left to feed him. Come on, Gwyden. Go upstairs and see if you have any bread left. Or If I don't, is he just going to murderize me? Because I don't have anything left to eat. I don't have anything to feed him with. There's no food in this house. There's like a moose. Ugh. Oh. Is there any pears on the shelf? Intoxication isn't your thing. Can we get him intoxicated so he won't be so angry about the fact he doesn't have any food? Candles cast moving light in the moose head. It is nice. Gwyden, you are assigned a chore. You know what happens to lazy boys. I'm still hungry. When will you learn to obey? I don't know. When will you give me food to serve you? Well, here he goes. You've disobeyed me for the last time. Is he really going to murderize me, guys? <gasps> oh, no. Let me 
get this first. Hopefully they won't be home. Oh, well. All right, well, let's, uh, I'm going to go get my stuff now. Although I also, no, 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 no. Ugh, are you for real, dude? I need... Can I... Mm. Although, I think he would recognize that. Well, he didn't... He doesn't recognize things. He didn't recognize the porridge, the same porridge he... Home. No! You jerks! I gotta get tiny all the way up here. Okay. Alright, are they home? Okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. Go in. Steal the porridge, because you're an awful person. Okay, good. Now we're set. We just have to get back up the mountain, guys. We you. Alright, here we go. Hello. I'm hungry. See, here we go. Now we're set, guys. We are set. Zelda's also one of those really great early adventuring games. They did a lot, especially in the original one with very limited graphics, but they did a lot. Okay, here we go. But, um... Ah! Are you guys for real? Well, tinted garden. Is there mud in the garden? <gasps> okay, guys. Okay, okay. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Come back here, please. Come back here, please. Okay. Holding the silver thimble beneath a dew-filled flower, you gently tip the flower so dew runs into the thimble. You move the flower to flower, repeating the process until your thimble is brimming with dew. Go into the bowl. Where are you, thimble? There you are. In the bowl. There we go. Okay. Tuft of fur from any animal into the bowl. The hard thing with this is, like, that's snake skin. Where's the, where's the fur? That's, oh, there it is. The wad of dirty dog fur. Ooh. Okay. One rounded spoonful of ground fish scales. Let me save real quick, because I don't know how it wants me to do the fish scales. Okay. Ah, uh, play, play, game, play. All right, I want to get, what is this? This is... Cream with this toadstool. Okay, so I have to take the spoon. Oh, that was nice of them. One drop dried reptile skin. That I can do. There's that weird thing in there. Oh! This is why I save it, guys. Okay. Dried reptile, sp reptile skin in the board. Dried reptile skin. There it is. I can't tell the difference in the yucky fish and the dried reptile skin sometimes. Okay. One small feather from any bird into the bowl. Oh. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know, because I'm getting excited about this and I'm making mistakes. <laughs> okay. Add the chicken feather to the bowl. Uh, mix the bowl's contents with your hands until they become doughy. So this is how this game gets you. Ugh. I have all this gross stuff in my hands. Recite the following. Fur of beast and reptile skin with scale and feather two thrown in. Oh, I have to actually recite it. <laughs> okay, and then there's... Okay. Grant me to comprehend animals want earth. So it just happens forever. Okay, we have a magic wand over bowl. So I just get to do this forever then. Like, this is now a new achievement unlocked, is what it's telling me. Uh, separate dough into two pieces and place in ears. Okay. You will now be able to understand the speech of animals, birds, and fish. You will not, however, be able to speak to them. The spell will last as long as the dough is in your ears. Oh, okay. If I can't talk to them, if I can just understand them, that just stinks too. Come no closer, lowly human. Show respect to the lord of the air. 
Okay, what does... That's kind of cool. Time up. Oh, uh, oh you for real. This, what are they saying? Do you know why Manama is always going to those trips? He's looking for a replacement. He does that often, doesn't he? Every 17 years, so they say. Oh, gosh. Thank you for letting me know that my time is short. No, he doesn't talk, I guess. Your teeth aren't too sharp. You should try chewing on a bone right now again. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know where my restore point is. Just over a year, the wizard nabbed me after I made two centuries. What? You're not that old. An egg steer. Oh. I thought you meant your batting average. DS6, your arrogance shall be your downfall. Yeah, it is. This is right here. And I'm really glad I saved it, guys. See, I've learned from my previous mistakes. Can you talk? Oh, gosh. No, no. Mmm. Eat of any other acorns. Get up there. Golly. I know. It's Oh. There. No. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh. No. The glitch that got me stuck in the tree saved me. Could it be for dealing? Oh. You guys are just miserable. Look at that. No, I did not, guys. You kneel down and scoop some of your mud into your wooden spoon. Uh, random clicking. Okay. Or I'm ravenous. Fix me something immediately. Oh, he doesn't notice what's in my ears. That's nice. Like, oh, I can hear the cat now, guys. What is the cat going to say to me? Wasn't hissing a big enough hint? I don't think I've marked your room today. <laughs> DS6 says silverfish. You get what's coming to you, Gwyden. I used to be his favorite. Aw. Don't get too close to the edge. Oh! Dang it! Sup of ocean water in a bowl. Okay. Boom. This bowl is gross. <laughs> I would not trust to eat out of this bowl after this. Light charcoal braziers. Slowly heat bowl. Do not boil. Then remove. Put a one spoonful of mud in bowl. Add one pitch of toadstool powder. Okay, so let's... Before I get too complicated... Do I... I've never had to do that before, by the way. Let's touch this, I guess. Oh. It didn't make me do that before. Interesting. Okay. Move the bowl before it starts to boil. Alright. Oh. I need to look at this again. Read with my hands. One pinch of toadstool powder. One pinch of toadstool powder. Okay. Oh! Correctly. Toadstool powder. Toadstool? Toadstool. There we go. So, one pinch. Oh, come on! Let's try this again. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Okay. Keep the jar for later use. Blow into the hot brew. How are you supposed to do this? Alright, let's... Um, oh, your finger also means blow. Great. Recite the following. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the brewing storm incantation. From nature, I now call thee the power of the land and sea. When brew is stirred, all should be warned. The might of the approaching storm. Okay. Wave a magic wand over brew. Man. Oh, come on. It's not DS6's finger equals read. Finger eats with blow. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Alright, here we go. Wave the magic wand over the bowl. Pour this. To activate the spell, stir with finger. Recite Stormy Brew, turn anew. To deactivate the spell, recite Stormy Brew, calm, calm renew. I really hope they don't expect me to remember that. All right, so we're going to take the storm brew and we're going to pour it into the jar. Charcoal blaze. Okay. All right, all right. 
All right, here we go. Close this. Nimbly, you grab the nasty cat by the scruff of his neck, avoiding its needle-sharp claws. Now you have it, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to take out a piece of his hair. Ow, I will get you for that, Gwyden. Ha 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 ha! You manage to pluck some fur before he viciously scratches and leaps from your arms with grim satisfaction. You survey your wounds. Stupid cat, whether you know it or not, you just helped me. Ha ha, guys! Right, let's see if I can give him that fish. You want that fish? Oh, whoa. <gasps> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Here he comes. And he left me a feather. Okay. 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 I need to save this, so I'm going to fall off this cliff when I try and go out and get this thing, guys. Look at that. Okay. <sighs> All right. Cut, cut the cactus with the knife. Or this one was like one of the worst ones too. Cut the cactus. Okay. Squeeze the cactus juice onto a spoon. Okay, we get the cactus. Let's go up here to the spoon. Squeezing. Okay. Place cactus juice in bowl. Okay. Cactus juice goes in bowl. This bowl is funky, guys. One jar of lard in bowl. Go back up. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. I keep the empty jar for later use. Two drops of toad spittle in bowl. Where's the toad spittle? Is this it? No, that's fish. Where's the toad spittle? Where's the toad spittle? No. Squishy smell. There it is. I wasn't really. I was looking for too big a bottle. Okay, stir the mixture with a spoon. Recite the following juice of cactus. Here we go. Juice of cactus and toad spittle upon myself, but just a little with flame and moisture both present, I shall become most transparent. Okay, magic wand over the bowl. Oh, guys! Ugh. Here we go. Ah! Alright. Where's the magic wand? Alright, there it is. Get the magic wand over the bowl. Put o ointment into empty lard container. There we go done it's so much fun to interact with you guys and talk about games and have you guys laugh at my terrible 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 mistakes so please if, if you've just been lurking uh like flaming hot cheeto does sometimes please uh, hit follow just because that would let you know when i'm on and maybe remind me that i'm here <laughs> remind me remind you that i'm here playing these games monday and thursday nights um have a great night guys thank you so much for uh your support and your patience with me and I will see you on Monday.